Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Boys. This is going to be a recap of the L.A. Rams hanging on by a thread. It's for the third time this weekend a game is won on a field goal. As this time, it was by the Los Angeles Rams, who I think many of us thought in the first half would walk away this game. It was um, 20-3 to after the first half. Then they scored again. Uh, then the Tampa Bay was able to rally off 10 points uh, in that third quarter, and then they were able to, of course, come back and complete the comeback um, in the fourth quarter until Matthew Stafford was able to get down the field for fellow Matt Matt Gay to be able to then get the game-winning field goal. This was a game that was a weird battle of, um, even as an overall fan, a battle of, of ridiculous emotions games because you're like, okay, this at the halftime, most people, I'm assuming, were thinking, okay, this game's going all towards the Rams, even at the start of that third quarter. Once Stafford rushed up the middle, they got a third quarter touchdown, 7-11 in, also a good place to go to eat, but uh, 7-11 in the third quarter. Uh, Stafford got a touchdown. Everyone, I think, at that point was feeling this game was going towards the Rams, but then there was turnovers, Cup fumbled. Of course, he made up for an intent fold in the game. Akers had two fumbles. Stafford fumbled himself. The Rams really gave this game back to the Bucks to be able to come back more than I thought the Bucks actually played a great second half to come back. Once they got the ball, sure, and had the offense on the field, yes, they did click then and actually take advantage of it like they didn't at all until after they were able to get balls handed to them because of failures by the Rams to be able to close it out until the last drive with Stafford getting it to Cooper Cup multiple times to be able to get it down the field in the deep pass that's kind of was a similar play to when they were able to get the touchdown earlier and then also on the out route he was able to get it to Cooper Cup down to be clutch so Matthew Stafford in this game um at 366 yards uh three total touchdowns Two passing touchdowns, one rushing touchdown. He played a hell of a game. Uh, Tom Brady battled back and played better in the second half. This was not, though, an overall great game for TB12. It was obviously a much better second half and a, saw, and a good competitive second half. But at the same time, like I said, the only reason he had the opportunity to do that was because of just handing it back to the Bucks by the Rams. It was a very piss-poor offensive effort to try to close out a game other than the first touchdown they were able to get, of course, in the third quarter by the Los Angeles Rams, and it took them, obviously, Matthew Stafford being one of the better, just statistically by the numbers, guys on the final drive of the game, it took him being the now Matty Ice, of course, that was once used for Matt Ryan, it's now passed on to Matthew Stafford, as far as I'm concerned, because Ryan's a shell of his former self, and have ice in his veins to be able to get them down the field, and be able to get Matt Gay to get the field goal. This was a whirlwind of a game, but Matthew Stafford was still a player of the game, you throw for 366 at three total TDs. Your player of the game. Cooper Cup is damn sure a player of the game. Dude almost had 200 receiving yards. He had that deep touchdown, key catches on the final drives. Odell Beckham continued to mix him well, had 69 yards receiving. And then Cam Akers, he didn't really have that good of a game. He had two turnovers, had under 50 yards. So you would like to see a better game from him next week, obviously, to rebound for Cam Akers because it wasn't a good week for him. But for the catch, you want to see do good in Stafford in um, Cooper Cup and in Odell Beckham and even Tyler Higbee, who had 51 yards on four catches. All those guys did good for the L.A. Rams, as well as their defense played very well, especially in the first half, getting pressure on Tom Brady. I never saw most teams get that much pressure on Tom Brady. The problem with the second half wasn't the Rams' defense. It was the Rams, the position the Rams' defense was put in because of the turnovers and handing the ball back to the Bucks by their offense. And, and then that's that, that just happens sometimes. But it's not something <clears throat> that uh, that you can blame the Rams' defense for. I thought the Rams' defense still played a very good game all in all in this game. They played a fantastic second half, got hung out to dry by turnovers by the offense in the uh, or played a fantastic first half, got hung out to dry by turnovers by the offense in the second half, and then were still able to play a good overall game, keep them in this game. Yes, they came back, but they came back because if you give Tom Brady the best or one of the best of all time. Just those opportunities, even in a game he's not playing well, eventually he's going to figure it out and click it in like he was able to do in this game. But the Rams hang on because of, first and foremost, Cooper Cup, and also second most, Matthew Stafford being the guy that can show he can perform in the playoffs. Dan Orlovsky was right about him um, a couple of weeks ago when he talked about how he's not concerned about Stafford. He can perform in the playoffs, and he's getting it done now, improving that on that final drive especially. Now it's just about being more disciplined against the 49ers um, next week if you're the Los Angeles Rams because you can't be 
kind of giving the ball back because the Niners win off a of defensive touchdown, right, or off a of defensive turnovers, and that fuel on their momentum much more so than the Rams because the Rams have a very potent offense. The 49ers win most, most and first and foremost off of their defense. So you can't be fueling the fire and giving them all the defensive momentum by giving the ball back to them in the second half. Otherwise, I think the Niners will actually be able to beat the Rams if they play a similar um, type of game and, and just start handing the ball back to them because they're a huge defensive-oriented team, the 49ers, as we all know, and then they have the running of Mitchell and Debo Samuel on offense. But everybody enjoyed this video recapping the Rams and Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It wasn't a good game for Tom Brady. He got opportunities handed him in the second half, but then eventually he was able to get it clicked in. But overall, I thought it was a bad game for the 44-year-old Brady. Um, I thought it was a very bad game for Cam Akers. He was one of the big reasons why the Bucs were able to come back. And then when it came to Bucks. Otherwise, Mike Evans had a hell of a day, 119 yards. Gronk had 85 yards. And Leonard Fournette was good with 51 yards and 56 receiving as well in his game back. So all the guys that you want to see be able to give the fight to the end were able to do it in the second half. It's just that first half, of course, killed them so much. The only reason they were able to come back if you're the Tampa Bay Buccaneers was because you kind of got opportunities handed to you. And then one of the best on the last drives of the game. Matthew Stafford performed again and got it done. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Enjoy the rest of the NFL playoffs. And please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the Easy Use Wizard to help us get to 200 by the end of February.